Hello guys, so the will be having a wonderful day if not sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Now today guys, we are here with a brand new Let's Play, brand new Nuzlocke. Feels like it's been way, way too long since I've said that starting the series. Um, but we're here, we're, we're back I guess with something new. Uh, NDS game as well, we haven't done a DS. When was the last time we did a DS game on the channel? I think it was Redux, finally after yeah, Gen 5. That was the last, uh, no. It was probably Storm Silver, actually. Yeah, it was Storm Silver. Storm Silver was the last one that we did. Um, I think we've, like, that ended in, like, November. It's now June, you know, so, <clears throat> yeah. So. My voice sounds a bit weird. I don't know why it sounds weird. I, I genuinely don't know. My throat feels fine, but, like, when I speak, it sounds very, like, I'm ill, but I'm not. I do have some hay fever. It could be that. I don't know. I, I rarely get hay fever. It's the second time I've ever had it in my life, and it's horrible. But let's... Uh, Get into this game but yeah pokemon omega paradox um this game this game's a bit weird man it's a bit weird like it's basically i don't want to spoil too much you'll see when we get into it but there's a lot to it like there's so much to it like you got a bunch of custom forms right there's like a form in this game i don't know what it's called probably a paradox form or something or a mega form i don't know what it's called but i know there's forms in this game i remember the only pokemon i know slash remember that had a form was ratata that's the only one um the one that i remember uh they got digimon in this game apparently i know they got Yu-Gi-Oh in this game um and of course your regular standard pokemon i don't know if fairy typing's in this game i'm, <clears throat> I'm not sure I would assume it is because apparently this is a ROM hack of another ROM hack, right? <laughs> Basically, the, but the person that made this game, I don't know who made this game, but whoever it is, um, he basically took, uh, apparently he took a Dreano game and just developed it. So this game's already enhanced, right? I don't know if this guy made it even more difficult, uh, like overall, but yeah, this isn't going to be no walk in a park, no... You know, easy game. No, 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 no. I, I, I've, I've rec like, the last four Let's Plays, I've been getting bodied, bro. Starting with Storm Silver. Then you had, um, uh, Pokemon Sweet, Pokemon Sweet Tooth, Pokemon Vega. Oh, my God, bro. Luckily, the Green Versus, thank God, is not, hasn't been, so far, hasn't been the same. Um, but, yeah. Uh, really scared. I'd like this to be out on the 14th of June. Right, but I don't think it's gonna happen because the graphics are not ready for this. Yeah, but shout out to Zamora for the graphics. Uh, amazing work. I know the layout is done, it's just the thumbnail and whatnot isn't. But yeah, um, if not, then you, you won't even need to worry about it. But yeah, there'll be green episodes up anyway. I'll bet make a tweet about it when the time comes. But yeah, before getting into this, um, if you don't know who I am, I'm Soda, Soda Fizz, call me whatever you want. Uh, just don't call me past 12 because my kids are asleep. Boom, that jokes. But yeah, um, what do I do on this channel? I guess Nuzlocke. I'm not the best Nuzlocke. Um, I do my best. I want to become a very good Nuzlocke, which is why sometimes like I get a bit butthurt like when, when I lose because like or, or lose Pokemon and sometimes because I'm like, bro, I want to be good. You know, I, I don't know. Maybe my uh, my ideal of perfection is just wrong. You know, but anyway. So, there's that. Um, if you know what else I do, I do other games sometimes. Like, sometimes, every now and then, I have a spin-off video. Um, sometimes it's gameplay. Sometimes it's, like, a top five type of shit. But uh, streams, I stream here. I don't stream here that much. I only, at the moment, I'm only streaming when it's anniversaries or special streams or sleep locks. Um, but this summer, like, hopefully around August, I'll probably start streaming some PS1 games that I've been wanting to play. Um, but if you want to follow my Twitch, I do stream Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. That's pretty much all I stream there. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Let's get straight into this. Um, hi there, welcome to a new version of Unova, Omega Paradox. My name is Professor Juniper. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Now, you see about Professor Juniper? When we did the Redux co-op, I remember, who was it? It was either EJ or Danny. One of them said, Vo you, you have to voice Juniper Soda. And basically, in Comic-Con last year, I think it was May. Was it October? No, it had to be, have been May, because we recorded that in the summer. Um, there was a woman. There was a there was a girl, there was a woman there, and I took a photo with her. I said, "Hey, can I go for her? bro?" She was cosplaying as Professor Juniper, which is so crazy. Like you don't really expect that unless it's a Pokemon convention. And she had a massive Kingdra, and I was like, "Yo, where did you buy this?" She's like, "I made it myself." I was like, "What?" 
But yeah, I took a picture of her and he was like, you have to voice how she sounds like. I don't remember. I know how she sounds like, but I can't replicate the accent. So obviously female voice, try make it a bit posh, London-y. I, I don't know. But anyway, this hack is inhabited by every Pokemon currently in existence. Isn't that fabulous? Mutations to Pokemon have also been seen. A great number of Pokemon have something different about them. Ah, see, that's the forms I was talking about. Another one I remember is N. The N battle, he has a some crazy form, if I remember correctly. I think it's OP as well. Pokemon might have different types, ability stats, or movesets. It's practically an alternative universe. The differences don't end there. There are many things you may see. You might f find stronger foes, different items, different evolutions. It, ma it makes for a fresh experience. That is why this hack exists. Really now. Well, that's enough from me. Could you tell me about your yourself? Oh, hell yeah. Are you a boy or a girl? I'm a boy, bruh. Did they change the sprite in this? It's still the same. This is a good sprite either way. That's still the same. Um, I was going to go with my real name. <laughs> I forgot that I was uh, doing this on YouTube, bruh. But yeah, nah. Um, I'm hyped, I'm hyped uh, for this. I'm nervous because I feel like I'm going to get bodied really early. I hope not. Even if I do get bodied, like at a point where it's like a point of no return, I shouldn't restart. I'm probably going to continue as a, as a let's play because I would like to see the game as it is. Um, but yeah, um, so your name's Soda. What a wonderful name. Well then, I'm going to introduce you to your two best friends. This young man, his name is Drake. Castle <laughs> 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 <Cussing> Roses. <laughs> it can be a little difficult, but he's a very honest person. This young woman is Cynthia. Oh, okay. She's a... Wait. Ah, hold on, hold on. I think I know what's going on. I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to spoil it. I'll mention it when I see it. I'm not going to spoil it. I think, okay, I know why these are their names. She's a little flighty, but she works very hard. I think you three have potential, so I'm going to give you a very, very important Pokemon. Soda, the moment you choose the Pokemon that will accompany you on your journey, your story will truly begin. During your journey, you will meet many Pokemon and people with different personalities and points of view. I really hope you find what is important to you in all of these travels. That's right, befriend new Pokemon and grow as a person. That is the most important goal of your journey. Let's go visit the new world of Pokemon. And Yu-Gi-Oh! And Digimon. And Forms. You know. But I'll tell you why. When, when, when it, Once the screen shows me in my room with the gift box and whatnot, I will tell you why. But yeah, what's been going on with me and shit, like... Brandon came, Bernardo Brandon, my boy, came to the UK. Um, I hate mentioning this because, like, I was upset when it first happened, but Danny was also meant to come. Because this is the thing. No one knew about it unless you were told about it. It was only me, Brandon, Danny that knew about it. And obviously, my little brother because he found out. And EJ. Because EJ actually was originally meant to come way, way before. But, obviously, he was the first one that said, I'm 100% not able to come. So, cool. Obviously, Danny, some problems happened. Wasn't able to get his passport in time, but it's okay. We still have Brandon, you know? So, Brandon came. We had a bunch of things, man. We did so much. Uh, I want to get, I want to tell you guys, because last couple of videos, I could have explained it, but I didn't. I guess I have to get back into it, but um, why I said I know what, the, what why he's called Drake and Cynthia. <laughs> this game is very odd, okay? The, you'll be, some, just don't worry, you'll be surprised with the NPCs. That's what I'm going to say, but yeah. I was thinking, oh, it's the actual Drake and Cynthia. I saw, Drake, I was like, okay, they changed his name. But then I was, when I saw Cynthia, I was like, ah, okay. We're starting off with the Elite Four members, bro. Which is pretty unique. It's, it's cool. It's cool, I guess. It feels so weird, though. Really weird. <clears throat> really, really weird. But let's just go. What should I give his voice? <clears throat> I heard from Professor Drayden. We can have a Pokemon. What's giving Cynthia? Oh my days! No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm not gonna give it that voice. I'm not gonna give it that voice. Am I a little late again? Sorry, Cynthia. I've known for ten years that you have no sense of time, but today's the day we can get a Pokemon from Professor Drayden. I know. Sorry, Soda. Sorry, Drake. So where are the Pokemon? They were delivered to Soda's house, so Soda gets first pick. Naturally. The Pokemon are waiting for us inside that gift box. Okay, Soda. You go first and take a peek at the gift box. I want to meet the Pokemon right now. Right, surely. Give me a... Alright. What have we got here? 
Be sure to use the enclosed documents to check for changes. If you do not have them, get them from Dre's YouTube channel. Oh wait, Driana made this too? Who actually made this? This one Driana. Was it? I know it's a ROM hack of Driana. Maybe the person that redid this didn't change it. We got Eevee, okay. We got Zora, okay. What's the last one? Geo dude. <laughs> did I hold on? Nah, nah, did I did I pick a randomized file or something? I know the starters are changed, but I thought it was like Zora and then like a dragon type and something else. Hold on. Pokemon Omega Paradox. Geo dude as a startup? That's so random. Yeah, look, it straight away, first thumbnail. Gibble, Bagon, Zorua. But then again, this guy. This from one year ago. Who's this? Tanime Garrett. This is Hero Vault, see? That's three years ago. See, this is version two that I'm playing. I'm assuming this is like the latest, latest version. Which uh, is whatever, you know, it's cool. So let's see, the, let's see him pick his Pokemon. Yeah, what? They got Gibbles? Hold on. Zora. Eevee. What was the last Pokemon? Hey! Check all the Pokemon, man. You stupid little rat. Oh, there we go. Geodude. Huh. Huh? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I get it now. I get it now. I get it now. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. I see what happened. I see what happened. I see what happened. Okay. This is correct. Huh. Um. They all get bodied by... Fire types. Uh, not fire types. Fighting types. The other thing is you need to have other happiness. I mean, I got stones for you, but you don't really learn anything special. And if you come up against a rock type slash steel type, kind of screwed. I'd rather take the Zora, honestly. I know, it, to be fair, it's probably smart to take this just because of all the evolution lines, but I don't know how this game's going to be like with stones, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if the person... Because that's the thing. If Drano actually made it, Drano is actually, in my opinion, a competent... Rum Hank developer. It's not me kissing his ass or anything. So he probably put the stone somewhere at a reasonable point to evolve, right? But at the same time, I don't know. And I, if I had this, I would want an Espeon more than anything or an Umbreon. But again, I don't know. <sighs> I hate this game, man. Already, this game sucks. Um, I pick. I feel like picking this is the wrong one. Yikes. Uh, I mean, Zora is cool. So it's rock, but... <laughs> well, why does that cry like that? <laughs> uh, I guess we'll pick you. Mm, how does... It's not like going to last long enough to evolve, but hold on. Zora... That's the... <sighs> I'm not picking Jiro, dude. Zora... Evolution... Can this thing load? Oh, level 30 of those. I did not know that. Okay. Right, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. Again, I don't know about the stones. I'm probably going to regret it. Um, because I have a feeling I'm just going to get given all the stones straight away like by someone. But who cares? I'll take this. How can we get to pick up? I want never mind. I want the Geodude. Are you sure you picked the Geodude, my guy? Because uh, from the videos I saw... Mm -mm. Let's see, is it actually Cynthia? Oh, there he changed it, okay. Whoa, she got a different outfit. Why did her boobs move up and down, up and down? <laughs> Wait, she got two, but what did that say two? One, yeah, there we go. So this is why I thought it was dragon type, because when I saw the thumbnail, like, ages ago when I saw this game, I was like, huh, okay. Um. Okay, 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 I'm just getting used to the controls. Is this physical? It is, right? Oh, and it's that bro, it's that. Okay, let's do that. Tackle. It's all right. Stab as well. Nice. I mean, you got rough skin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you just are going to win. You know? It's cool. No Pokemon, bro. No Pokemon. But my Pokemon are amazing. So, so little, but so strong. I'm so glad that I get to have a Pokemon. Yeah, you've got the OP one. I wanted the. I wonder what this guy has. 
the, the guy I'm going to battle next, Drake. This is what I was going to pick. That's what I thought the starters were. Zora, Gibble, and the guy... <sighs> You're completely hopeless. Here, I'll restore your Pokemon for you. Sharon? Yeah, it's Sharon that did it. Yeah, okay, cool. Hey, Drake. How about you battle too? With all you, with all you know, I'm sure you can... This is a very cursed game from what I'm seeing. So, <laughs> But let's see. I'm excited to play it, though. It looks like a fun game, for sure. Um... It's decided you'll be my opponent in our first Pokemon battle. It's what you can do, Geodude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So much for Geodude, mate. Okay, cool. I guess if we go straight in and attack, because we've got the high speed. You got Rage? Okay. Rage. Oh, nice, 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 nice. And that is this. I was going to pick the Bagon. That's what I was going to get. I thought it was just Dragon Types. So I thought it was like, similar to Dark Rising. That's what I thought it was going to be like, but I guess not. I made a strange blunder in my first battle, but this feeling I have, I'm finally a trainer. But first, we'd go. We'd better go apologize to your mother by the mess in this room. Oh, but I'd better come too. But yeah, as I was saying, good old Brandy Brand, Brandon. I need to get used to the controls. Ooh, this looks different. I like this. I like that. That looks pretty nice. I don't remember. Nah, it doesn't look like this when you pause the game. In the regular ones, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But uh, yeah, Brandon came. I was sick, man. Went shopping. The thing is, he met a bunch of my friends. Uh, one of the main friends I wanted like to meet as well because he knows Lon Central London pretty well. He wasn't available. Um, and that's, his name's Alfie. And of course, my best friend, Daryl, was in Manchester at the time. But he met a bunch of my friends. He met Taylor. He met Yusuf. He met Aaron, aka Advanced 17. He met Thomas. Who else did he meet? He met, he met my little brother. <laughs> they played Mario Kart together. I think my brother beat him. I, I, I don't remember. Um, but yeah, we went to Central Lot. It was fun, man. At Comic Con as well, that was an experience I haven't even spoken about yet on video uh, or on the channel yet. But third Comic Con I've been to, it was amazing. This is probably my best one. We had, oh, he met SSB as well. Um, it was such a good day. I cosplayed as Garrow. I put a bunch of photos on Twitter, uh, the Discord. Mate, I, I was so gassed after that. It was, like, the first Comic Con was amazing because I went with my Twitch friends, Ruby and whatnot. Um, October, it was alright, like, but I was a bit of a sour, I was in a bit of a sour mood, because, like, I was just on my own, and, like, all the people that I invited, they weren't able to come. This time, I had Aaron, who came, uh, Aaron came last time, but he came at, like, four or five, and I was like, we were only there for, like, or he was only there for, like, an hour and a half, you know, so I was already there the whole day. Um, but, yeah, and then what? Oh, wait, wait, what's the Zoro's ability? I need to nickname it, too. You have to ask. Illusion. Okay. I didn't know he gets it at this stage. I thought it was um, Zoro that gets it. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, it was it was a really good Comic Con. You know, this time it was me, Aaron, SSB Lucario, and Banana Brandon. It was sick, man. I, I loved it. I cosplayed as Gara. It was so cool, man. Like, you know what was fun? Who's this? The power of science is amazing. Okay. There's a lot of shiny stuff here. That's a bit different. Whoa! Drake's dad? Chorus is Drake's dad, yeah? Oh, don't tell me this is your mom. Drake's mom's a milf. What? That Drake, I'm sure he's got the love child up here. Nah, she needs to be my mom, bro. What the hell? Anyway. Anyway, 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 anyway. Um, so. Comic Con was sick. Oh, 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 hold on. No, no, a thousand times, no. But, but I'm... A good trainer who got every, every, Yeah, who the hell is this, bro? Mr. I forgot his name, but telling the best champion in the world, bro. What, what to do? This guy's like a, like a fifth gym leader. Come on, bro. In what universe? It's fine. I'll be waiting for you in front of the lab, okay? Who's this? Oh, Cynthia's friend, bro. I thought... I was going to say, where's the mum? <laughs> All Cynthia's parents is a gay couple, bro. How are they going to give birth? You know, <laughs> you know, a man and a man. Come on, bro. What's going on? Not possible, not possible biologically. Let's go, man. We ain't seahorses, bro. But anyway, who is this? Oh, it's Sabrina. Yo. Yeah, so this is the thing about the oddballs, right? Yeah. Um, all the NPCs are like, yeah, they're not your regular NPCs. You, you see? like, It's so weird. It feels so weird. But it's, I guess, unique and it's something in the end, you know? But yeah, it, it was a great time. It was a blast. Like, the thing is with my uh, Garu cosplay... I didn't practice the hair. That's what I was stressing about. And imagine the night before, I was like, oh shit, I, it was last minute. I was like, shit, I didn't get time to practice. I did it in 30 minutes. 
I managed to split my hair, spike it one side, one side. I was like, yo. I was like, oh, I'll so guess. And I, and the thing is, I used gel like the next day. Um, and it's been years since I've ever since I've used gel. You know, um, what did I call this in Redux? I think I called it Ray for Zeref. I'm gonna call it Zeref. Um, I don't know. Was it PH or TH? I think it was TH. Yeah, Zeref is a nice name. Yeah, I, I would read this dialogue, but I want to, you know, give some stories and whatnot. But yeah, it, Comic Con was amazing. Like, so the hair, oh, I was. It, it, when the thing is, I don't know if how many of you have cosplayed, but when you put it together and you finally look at yourself in the mirror, it's an unreal feeling like seeing the cosplay come to life you know something that you've been planning for you never knew how it looked like you just imagine yourself and you sit and you're like what you know what i'm saying um okay we've got a time up very useful very nice but yeah and yeah it was fun man me and brandon went there uh, together we met aaron there aaron there got there before aaron got there before us the day before was a disaster too by the way so we went out shopping and i went to buy a few things for like that was left for the cosplay like some socks and spray dye for my hair but one thing i didn't have yet was the shoes and i was waiting for them to get delivered they were meant to be delivered the day before i get an email from amazon saying we couldn't deliver your package and there was no reason why it just said we couldn't deliver your package i was like you're joking me and literally we got it and that was at like 5 45 every shop closed at like seven that sold clothes that were local so i'm like oh great so we're already catching the uber back to the airbnb and i say to the guy yo can you add a stop we need, it's, it's an emergency, ASAP. He's like, okay, cool. I will stay here, parked outside. You book another Uber and I'll just um, accept it instantly. I was like, cool. So we did that, went went straight back out. We put our things back, went straight back out and mate, it was stress. We went into like three different stores to try to find these like shoes. They're called Tom shoes. And yeah, we found them in Sports Direct, but they didn't have the right color. I needed black. They have navy blue, gray. I was like, oh man, nowhere had the right shoes. Not even like loafers or anything, like anything remotely similar to Garrow's shoes. And yeah, luckily I called my dad and said, could you find some that you might have? And luckily he had some. So if you saw me in the pictures, they were like my dad's shoes. They're like half a size bigger. But yeah, they, they, they fit well. It wasn't even that bad. It was I was afraid of them being too loose and it looked too big and stuff like that. But it was not in the end. And I was guessed about that. I want Team Plasma Grunt. Oh. Okay, that's our first move. Level six, already enhanced, okay. I would say you love to see it, but I don't know if you'd actually love to see uh, an enhanced game. I haven't got any potions either. I don't think the PC is a thing in, like, in your room in this game. Okay. Um, I'll take this, I guess. I'll call it... You know what? Let's call this Liam. Liam the Noctile. Skylanders Liam. Let's call it, let's call it Liam. Liam has been an OG supporter of the channel, of the community. Absolute go. So... Gotta give credit where credit's due. Got a nickname, uh, him, uh, Liam. But I'm sorry, Liam. Hey, if I lose the hoot, -hoot don't blame me. It, the Pokemon isn't that great. Maybe I should have saved you for a very good Pokemon. But yeah, it's. It, I don't know. It's a weird one. Hoot -hoot. But yeah, Comic Con was sick. Like what I ended up buying. So my Comic Con haul was um, Hydrogen Plushy. I bought a cart cartridge of Yu-Gi-Oh Dungeon Dice Monsters. Uh, but it's in Japanese. But I still got it. Yeah, here's the Rattata form. Okay, so when I saw it in the, uh, in the, what's it called version? In, in the, the, when I watched the Let's Play, the ver the form looked different. It wasn't finished. It was like really glitchy. Like it wasn't sprited properly. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, okay, that's cool then. I guess I don't have to stress about the layout changes and whatnot. Freaking rock roughs, what? Go away safely, okay. But I'm gonna go, oh, that's the one I was talking about. Okay, cool, bro. Cool. Um, I'm gonna run away because I do want to train up my Pokemon because the Pokemon are already a high level in the grass, which is nice because it means you know you got hopefully more XP because the XP in this game like is pretty shit. But yeah, um, I bought a physical copy of Crash Team Racing on PlayStation One. Let me explain why that's the case. Now I actually never had the actual copy as a kid. All I had was the download on the PSP and I had it downloaded on the PS3. I never had the physical copy on the PlayStation 1 as a kid. I always wanted it, never got it. I checked everywhere, it was too expensive or I just never, I was never able to buy it. And yeah, I only had the demo of it, right? Because Pizza Hut in the UK, they used to give out demo discs and they had a bunch of games and one of them was Crash Team Racing. Oh, whoa, whoa. I think we're gonna get bodied here. Okay, Oren Barry. Oh my God, dude. Yeah, I was right, shit. 
gust. Yeah, we tanking that hypnosis. Sit down, bro. All right, tackle. Cool. So comes uh, right, this episode's gonna be probably be really long. Shit, yo, what? Uh, I already see where this game's going. But anyway, as I was saying, yeah. Um, so I bought a physical copy for twenty-five pounds. I don't think that's that bad of a deal. Um, there was the platinum version, which is like a reissue. And it was 25. And then I saw the original, which was 34. I'm like, bro. Really? I was like, oh, I was so I wasn't sure. And then the guy, absolute G. I, I, that guy was so nice. He found another original copy they had that was being sold for 25 pounds. I was like, okay, I'm buying that. Bought it. What else did I get? I got this free item. It was like a little gem, like a purple pink gem. These two girls were, it was their, their own thing. They weren't working for Comic Con or anything. They were dressed in some princess clothes. And they had a sign saying press X to talk. And they were like, if you're with a bunch of buddies, or like if you're on a quest with friends. So basically, if you're in a group of friends, for them it was like their own role play. Like if you're on your quest with your friends, um, collect gold coins here, you know? And you'd go up to them and yeah, they'd give you chocolate gold coins. Like these two guys came up to me, John, Aaron and Brandon. They're like, yo, we need you guys. We want to get free chocolate. Do you guys want free chocolate? We're like, yeah, well, what's the catch? And they told us, and we're like, okay, cool. And we went with them, and yeah, instead of getting the chocolate, I think I, I got the little gem. And I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll just take that. You know what I'm saying? I was like, sure, why not? I'll take the gem um, as a little souvenir, you know? And yeah, uh, it was a great day. Honestly, fantastic. I met so many amazing people. The vibe was amazing. So many great people. I met Team 5Ds. There was a group of Yu-Gi-Oh cosplayers. Like, we had Jack, Callan. Um, Yusei, Crow, I was like, what? And I was talking to the Crow and the Yusei. Um, oh, and there was an Akiza too. And yeah, they were really nice. I got I got a lot of the, like contacts from people. So hopefully next time for Comic-Con, I can group up with these guys or meet them again. It would be great. Um, but yeah, oh, it, was, it, was, it was amazing, man. They were such nice people. And I was showing, whoa, what the hell? And I was showing them like my cosplay. I did Declan Akaba for Halloween like the other year, like a year ago or two years ago. Thank you, Iris. Um, I just don't wanna, oh, no, 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 no. We're not battling you just yet, Drake. Not just yet. And I'm calling you by your actual name, not Sharon, because this game uh, it's a bit confused. There's a bit of an identity confusion. But yeah, I, they were great. And they were telling me, oh, we should definitely do an ARC 5 group. So they, I guess they organized groups and stuff, like to go and cosplays. They were like, yeah, and we're in a Facebook group and whatnot. I still haven't joined it. I need to join it. And like you organize cosplays for certain events, like Yu Gi Oh groups and whatnot. And one of them was uh, the Crow. She she did a Yu Gi Oh cosplay. I was like, oh, let me see. And bro, she, all their cosplays they they made themselves. And she made like one of his Yu Gi Oh monsters, like as a plushie. Like it was Performer Pal, like something snake, like the purple snake. Tw I think it's it's not Twist Cobra. I, I don't know what the name is. It might be Twist Cobra. Um, but yeah, no, no, that's a Gooky monster. <laughs> Either way, anyway, and I was like, yo, that's sick. I was like, yeah, we, next time if you guys do Arc 5 or something, let me know. 5Ds, I'll dress as Antinomy, mate. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that, that was sick. So many nice people. Like, honestly, the vibe was just perfect. And this time, like, so before I took photos with a lot of people, but there were some I was hesitant, I hesitant to take photos with. But this time I was like, I don't give a shit. I'm asking anyone and everyone, like, that I want to take photos with. Yo, let's kind of take a picture of you. Well, not like that. More politely. But, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I was gassed, man. Good day out. You know? And also, I saw some people that I saw in previous Comic-Cons last year. Like, um... Sounds like something's going on in Plaza. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going anywhere near this. That's what I need to train. Because the end battle's coming up, and he is quite difficult. Um, from what I remember seeing. But, yeah, so... Oh, it was good, man. And, like, the people that I saw last year, like, before, like, my first Comic-Con, there was, um... And funny enough, I was literally talking about it with uh, Brandon on the on the train. Um, there was a Deadpool dressed as a chef. And, like, I didn't know, but the, one of the people that was with us, um, last year in our group, I said, why is he dressed as a chef? And he's like, oh, you don't know? There's a meme, like, that Deadpool is in every universe, so people just cosplay as anything, like, with Deadpool. So, for example, chef and whatnot. I was like, oh, okay, cool, that's pretty sick. And I saw the guy, I was like, yo, were you here last year? He was like, yeah, yeah, that was me. He, he was very funny, I'm not gonna lie. He definitely played the part well. He acted like he was Deadpool. He, he was funny. Very touchy and whatnot, very comedic. And like, he pulled a pistol out, like, when he took a picture of my friend Aaron. I was like, yo, no, no, no. 
you be taking a picture again. You have to put a pistol out with me, man. That's like my favorite part. Like when he pulls the pistol, like it's so sick. <laughs> and yeah, um, oh, it was such a good day. I bumped into a, a girl I took a picture with in October. I didn't recognize who, who she was. I just said, hey, she had a really good high quality like Sailor Moon cosplay. I was like, yo, she looks sick. I was like, yo, let me get a picture. And I was like, hey, excuse me, can we get a photo? She's like, yeah, sure, of course. And then as we finished, she said, thank you. And I looked at her as she said that, as she thanked me. And I was like, wait, she looks familiar. I was like, I, 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 I caught up with her and I was like, hey, um, were you here in Comic-Con in October? She's like, yes, I was. I was like, were you cosplaying as Misa from Death Note? She's like, yeah, that was me. I was like, I actually took a picture of you. We met before. And she's like, what? No way. I was like, yeah, look, let me show you. And I get the picture and I show her. She's like, oh my God, I remember that. And I was cosplaying as Zeke in that one. Um, yeah, it was crazy, man. Ah, oh, bro. It was such a, such a good day. And then I was like, I was like, we have to get in contact, man. You know, she gave me an Instagram, sent her the picture. And yeah, the, the main one, this one was before the, the girl, but I don't care about chronological order because you guys need to know this. So in the, the first, like one of my first few photos at my first Comic-Con, right, was with this guy dressed as Saitama. And he had, like, it was a six cosplay because like he had like the whole Saitama costume and he had a big helmet that was Saitama's head and he wore, he wore the head. And yeah, it was... It was so cool and I took a picture of him and I was like, when I did it at the time, I was like, I have to show EJ this, you know, because at the time, that's when we were memeing. Oh. <laughs> and I'm taking a photo with a guy who's dressed as Lloyd from Spy Family, right? And I hear someone like call me or shout like, shout like, Garo, I, I, I don't remember what they shouted, they probably shouted Garo. And um, I look and I think it was his friend that said it and then he comes and starts calling me. I was like, oh shit, and I dropped my things and I put my arms out like the Mortal Kombat meme. And I was like, oh, it's about to go down. And then, you know, I was like, yo, let me get a picture with this guy and I'll take a picture of you right after. He's like, yeah, okay, okay. And then I realized after, I was like, wait, it's the same guy. I said to him, you know, I've met you before. He's like, what? I was like, were you here last year in May? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I was. I was like, mate, we, we took a picture. He's like, no way. And he had two friends with him, a guy and a girl. Apparently, the guy, he told me, because I was messaging him after, you know, I, I had to get his details. I was like, bro, we have to go together in October, Garo and Saitama. Um, so, he uh, he was like, yeah, that was me. Uh, I was there. I was like, cool. Let me. Oh, no, no. He said his friend, that he, when I was messaging him, he said the friend that he was with, like the guy, apparently, he used to cosplay as Genos. I was like, what? I was like, mate, we need to make like some crew or something. Like, you know, get that female friend that was with you to dress as like anyone like what's her name tatsumaki or terrible or fubuki or anyone any female character bro you need to get the whole crew there you know and yeah it was so cool and what happened was yeah after that i was like yeah let me show you the picture and i showed his friends his friends were there they, were, they couldn't believe it they're like no way you guys man and then yeah he was like what i was like i'll send them to you he's like yeah and their friends were like oh my god the girl was like oh i was like Bro, I was so gassed. Like, I was asking Brandon after. I was like, "What were you guys doing when me and Saitama were just talking and just freaking out and fanboying over each other?" It's like, we were just there admiring the wholesome moment. I was like, "Oh, <laughs> oh it was such a good time, man. Honestly, it was a blast." And yeah, we went to Central London. That was amazing. It was really good. Uh, had nice food. Had some Italian pizza. It was good quality pizza as well. Uh, we did a bunch of things. We went to Hampton Court Palace. Um, last night, like Taylor came as well to visit us. And yeah, Yusuf came and we had like Turkish food. The first day when Brandon arrived, we went like, so basically we, we tried Nando's, right? But before that, I think it was before, after that, I think it was after that. Um, so what happened was Taylor called me. He was like, yo, are you busy? Do you want to do something? I was like, well, I'm actually going to pick up my friend from the airport. I was like, what? I was like, uh, and I was like, yeah, we're going to go to Nando's. I was like, do you want to come? He was like, yeah, sure. And the Airbnb was actually like a seven minute drive from his house. Uh, so he drove, picked us up and we went to Feltham and, uh, yeah, we had some Nando's. Brandon loved it. I liked it. It was a great meal. And yeah, we went to the arcade. That was lo that's local to me. It's been there all my life. And yeah, we were just getting tickets. And then we found this game, Crossy Road. I don't know if you, how many of you had that as a, on your phone. I used to love it. I was really good at it back in the day. Ooh, yes, we learned pet because I stabbed. And yeah, so we were farming that because that was like guaranteed at least 40, 50 tickets. Because basically, if I have a, whatever your score was, you got exactly that. Other machines weren't like that. Um, they'd give you a set amount of tickets, like if you won or lost, like 40, 30, 10, whatever, right? 
And on this one, we kept farming it and we got so many tickets. On our first day, I think we got like 900 tickets or something like that. And then on this, like we went again um, on one of the remaining days. I think it was on, yeah, the second to last day, me and Brandon went. And then, oh, he met Alfie. Oh yeah, Alfie did come and meet us. He met Alfie and, uh, oh my God. And Alfie uh, <laughs> was watching the carnage and yeah, bro, we were just farming it, farming it and farming it this time, like from start to finish. And mate, bro, we had, in the end, we had like 2,000, like 100 and something tickets. I think it was 2,116. And yeah, like it was crazy, mate. It was, it was wild. And the guy there, this is what he was even more mad. The guy that worked there, he was like, did you go to so-and-so primary school? I was like, yeah, I did. He was like, oh, yeah. It was like, I, he was like, I was working there when you were a kid. He was like, I had to look after you one time. I was like, huh, what's your name? And he told me, I was like, and I recognized the second name. I was like, oh. And yeah, like, I was like talking to him. I was like, so this, because like his cousin, I think it was, she was in my class. She's my age. Her name was Courtney. Cool person. Like, she was, she was chill. Like, we weren't like crazy good friends or like close or anything like that. We were, we were cool. We were like, we, we were friends, you know, at the time, like in primary school. You know, you're all kids. It doesn't really matter. Um, and yeah, I was talking to him and yeah, one of his like, his brother coached my brother in football as well. And yeah, and he helped us fix the machine because it kept like messing up because we just kept taking too many tickets out. And when he put the new tickets, instead of giving us how many, he's like, how much tickets did you need? And we were like 10. Yeah, it was a stack of 100, bro, every time. And yeah, and when we got the gifts, like when we went to exchange our tickets to get a souvenir for, for Brandon, he was like, look, because we couldn't decide. He was like, look, how about this? So there was like this thing, I forgot the name of it, but it was a little bot trash can. And it had like two little squidgy figurines in there. He gave us three of those for the price of one. And he gave us a bunch of candy for free. And he was like, the, the, your winning tickets, they last one year. So if you want to come back for something else, just come here, win more, and then you can get whatever, right? Because I wanted to get this little game. They had the snakes and ladders game. And yeah, mini snakes and ladders. I really wanted that. So yeah. <laughs> It was good, and oh, bro, this episode's too long. I'm sorry, I, I wanted this to be short, but I had, a I had to tell the story, bro. And I need to grind up my team, and I'd rather do it off on screen than off screen. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's get us to level 10, and we can boost our and bounce. Nice, okay, let's get to level 10. And let's go in here. Oh my God. I don't wanna speed up and go there by accident, because I, I know the upcoming battle is very tough. And I think he might, be, he might have level 12s too. If I remember correctly. But yeah, uh, good time, man. And again, sh thank you, Brandon, for coming. Um, it was amazing spending time with you. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, um, I probably missed out a story or two. I might bring it up in the next episode or whatever. Or in a coming video. Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, that is the end of episode one of Pokemon Omega Paradox. I'm sorry if it was long. But again, I had to take, get this story out. Because otherwise, I was never going to tell the story. It would have been, you know, I've been delaying it. Episode, video for video and whatnot. So yeah but anyway that is the end of today's episode i hope you all did enjoy if you did hit the like button below and uh, sorry i had to get some more subscribe as well and uh yeah follow me on the socials twitch twitter all that good stuff all right, all stay safe and i hope you all have a wonderful day peace